Hey, hey, hey! What's coming up next? It's Weeknight Update with Ellie Mueller. Then the morning show starting Rebel Wilson and extremely early with Edward Scott. That's all still to come on Nick at Night. <laughs> From the glory YouTube dojo, far away from Kevin Hart's mansion, or wherever he is living now. It's week of the early war, and now a man thinks that Kevin Hart is about to lose most of his comedy gigs. Oh boy, that Jack Williams uh, edition of Club Shay Shay really did a number on his career. Oh boy, here we go. Mr. Ellie Carnegie War! Ha! Welcome to week of the I'm Ellie Carnegie War, what's up, guys? I'm out in this fight! I'm out! Hey, boss, what's up? Nothing much, man. Are you feeling alright? Oh, yeah! Rock and roll! Alright, yeah. Woo! Now, this week's Count of the Week question is How do you stay warm during the coldest winter ever? Go over to the Community Town Post and answer that question, alright? Now, the team told us composed by Dominic Mattis Piano, the color big crew, the county lake, and gave out in 2004. Are responsible for most of, of the things that we're going to see here on this program tonight. And they are some of our shots by the winners. Along with Alex Kay's Toon Zone, William Beanham, or, or, or William Charles Beanham, a cartoon fan, Bob Corley, Wyatt this Chris, Chris Part 2, Jazz Rogers and Clank, Jordan Villa Real, Talk to Me for Healing Up, and the Met Guy. I know. I have said a lot. Oh boy. Let's just get this whole thing over with, shall we? What's up? What is up? Uh, 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 what is up? 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 What's up with Kevin Hart, a man who hates the Academy Award? Kevin? Everyone hates the Academy Award. Come on now. And he said that the industry plant claim is not worth his time. Now let me repeat. He said that the industry plant claim is not worth his time. Kevin, it's too late. Why are you upset now? Huh? I mean, <laughs> seriously. Kevin Williams already exposed you. He has already exposed you several times. Give it up! Now, hold on. He once said that he does not like award shows because of how tough they can be. Really? Why did Kelsey Handler do one? Why did Trump with Noah do the Grammys? Wait. Wait. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, MP, Pink Cat, how about another topic, huh? Does everybody know what time it is? Is it time for something that involves a weeknight update? That's correct. It's time for our top eight. Yeah, top eight to know what the top eight things are. Yeah, it's going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited. I wonder what the top eight is going to be this time. Well, we're going to have to figure it out. Well, Ellie's going to figure it out. Yeah, Tom, it's absolutely so. Well, then, what are we waiting for? Take it away, Ellie! yee You got lost nine category top eight words that comedians have called Kevin Hart. Number eight, wash. Number seven, trash. Number six, fish. Number five, goopy. Number four, silly. Number three, odd. Number two, strange. And number one, loud. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wasn't that last one? A word that people have called Chris Tucker? Yeah, exactly! Uh-huh, so this topic list is pointless, right? Yeah, this topic list has been pointless. <sighs> Boys, thank you. You know, do a hashtag, it's not the hashtag, I'm going to fight hashtag, I'm going to for those of my hashtags, we're going to get those things to try social media, please. And why I'd like to see subscribe to our channel, the channel, the comments section down below. 
There she is! Uh, my love, I come for you! Nah, bro, this place has got Wi-Fi. It's so fast. Right? I've made a personal decision to try better living through television, but to make it right, I've gotta have big at night. You know, I get this question an awful lot. Is that carpeting from Empire really okay? Well, let me ask you, is world carpeting okay? Galaxy, Salem, Philadelphia, Georgian, Evans and Black? These are some of Empire's brands, the very same names you'll find in the stores. The difference is, we have most of it in stock, so you get delivery in 72 hours. You could call right now. 588-2300, Empire! Uh, I I'm ready to come down now, guys. Once again, it's time for special delivery. Captive audition, la la. Uh, uh, oh, this is crazy, uh, uh, crazily insane. Uh, 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 oh, oh, I hate the villains when they do this. Uh, 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 uh. That kid is so annoying. Yes, my lovely accompli accomplices. This will absolutely prove our good old distraction for our bumbling superheroes. The sneaky hermit will be pleased. Let's invite him into my lair. We can absolutely talk our evil plans for over tea. <laughs> By the power of Don Cheering, what a capital idea. Wait, what's that? It sounds like the Invisible Mobile. Our heroes have arrived. Bar and a burger and fries. <sighs> I mean, on hand that captive you file beans. Oh, thank bullcraps you're here. This is worse than being with my uncle for so long. You're too late, moron man! This, this captive is absolutely trapped inside of stinkiness! Hoo-hoo! 
The treadmill creates status. When we absolutely serve from the old restaurant, who to pay? And when she stops running and wham! So absolutely becomes stinky and smelly for a very long time. <laughs> That's diabolical villain Rossity and very kind of icky. Try save the mayor's kid, why don't you? It'll absolutely take a long time before you know it. <laughs> uh Captain? Oh, uh, sorry. It, uh, caught up in the moment. <laughs> so long, fool timers! Dag nabbit, th they're trying to stall us from finding the sneaky hermit! But we've really gotta free the mayor's kid! Oh yeah, the kid. You're gonna be just fine, and... Oh, sweet mother of bullcraps! What is that smell?! It's the vortex of stinkiness, Captain. We need to shut off this machine so that we can free the Captain. Is it off? Nope. How about now? Nope. Now? Mm, nope. Oh, come on! I'm absolutely sweating my butt over here. Is it off? No. Off? Nope. <laughs> We are so mad! We got double-crossed! While we were here trying to help the sneaky hermit, the hermit was busy stealing our lairs! Wow, now that really is sneaky! He's even more sneakier than all of us. Um, why don't you fellas say we combine forces and go in after this villain together? That's pretty much why we're here. Well, that was easy. I know 110 animals who can really track anything. I bet we can use the hunter by a little of his or her help. Well, there's not much left to say except superheroes and supervillains are absolutely joining forces in the evil forces of this. Unite! Um, could you absolutely help me out still? Oh, uh, sorry. We'll get that for you. Uh, thank you. Uh, oh, my crap. That was incredible! That was fantastic! And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Multiverse Disability Choir. Oh, no. 
Lovers. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for a little talking time. Yes! Hey, hey, hey! Do you know what time it is? That's correct. It's talking time to know what Ellie is talking about. So let's talk about it and dance about it. Kevin Hart has been called a lot of things by a lot of people. But recently, Cat Williams called Kevin something that really pushed him over the edge. That's right. Cat recently called Kevin an industry plant. That's right. He said, in 15 years in Hollywood, no one in Hollywood has a memory of a sold-out Kevin Hart show. Now, there have been a line for him ever getting a stand ovation at any comedy club. Evan Hart uh, responded, It's not worth my time for a response or an engagement. It's extremely beneath me in the position that I'm currently in. I think those that can't talk about those that can't. Oh boy, not again. The comedy feud is still going on, folks. I just hope that everybody can get back into the swing of things before it's too late. Because if not, then we're going to be in for a long, long, long generation. <sighs> Meanwhile, you got to listen to this. Kevin Hart says that he hates award show. He said, look, the climate of comedy attached to award shows has changed drastically. Now, as a talent, if you don't have the relationships that are in that room, those rooms can be cold. I don't consider award shows to be good gigs at this point. And while he is right to a certain degree, you know, you have to consider this as well. I, if you are good at doing comedy, in other words, you know, you're not uh, taking jokes too far, you know, you are being good and everything else, then you're going to enjoy doing award show. Of course, nobody knows why Trevor Noah and Chelsea Handler are still doing award shows, considering the fact that both of them are pretty bad. And Kevin, you should remember why you didn't want to uh, do the Academy Awards in the first place. Five years ago, you were scheduled to host the award ceremony. But then, your horrible jokes from many years ago resurfaced. You know, just in time for the Academy Awards. Actually, they got resurfaced in 2019 and you were supposed to apologize which you did you know but instead of apologizing during the academy awards you said no 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 i i'm not going to host the academy awards wow that was just wow Anyway, listen to this. Alright. Evan also said this. When you look at those that have had a high level of success, Ricky Gervais, Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, Chris Rock, or Steve Martin, you're looking at industry comics. Of course, they crush in the world of stand-up, but they're also actively involved with a lot of the personnel in those rooms. So, there are relationships. It's one of those things where nobody wants to be talked about, nobody wants to be teased, and because of that, everybody's so uptight. Well, that's because when you're dealing with an award show, it is an uptight situation because everybody wants to win. 
You know, everybody wants to win an award. Okay? So the last thing that they need is something that would make them feel stressed out. Alright? You know, this is how I'm going to host the Academy Awards. Watch this. <clears throat> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mr. Ellie Muir, and welcome to the Academy Awards. Yes! Yes, indeed. This is the only ceremony in which we can celebrate films. That's right. Films that go all the way back, 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 back to the beginning of the 20th century. That's right. We went from, you know, uh, pictures without sound to pictures with sound to, to Technicolor to HD to stereo to 4K to whatever else uh, you want to uh, call uh, the next, uh, you know, uh, style of quality these days. You know, it, oh boy, please forgive me. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. All right, so what I want you to do, considering the fact that you're all more nervous uh, too, take a deep breath with me. All right, now, we have a lot to get through uh, this time around, so let's not waste any time. All right, make sure your speeches are short. Make sure that uh, you don't waste any time. And I'm pretty sure that we can get through this if we all cooperate, all right? So let's get on with it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I think that uh, I have uh, handled that uh, quite well. Don't you think? Well, it's time to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you back here again tomorrow night. All right, that's news. And I'm out of for all by for all. Personal decision to try better living through television, but to make it right, I've gotta have big at night.